confirmed that two cardiac surgeons were let go from the hospital, which is the largest hospital in the South Central Ohio region and serves hundreds of thousands of rural patients. The spokesman could not tell me why the surgeons were fired, but I spoke with families who believe their loved ones would still be alive today if not for those doctors. I want to warn you that some of the details you're about to hear are disturbing. This is Joan Maley, about two weeks before she died. The 74-year-old grandmother was dancing just weeks after a heart attack in March. Her daughter Melanie credits a surgeon who still works at Adena Health for the successful surgery to clear three blockages in Joan's heart. Dr. Hassan that did her cath was amazing. In late April, Joan needed a second surgery performed by a different doctor, a bypass for two more blockages. And they would be able to do the bypass robotically. The day of the surgery, Joan's family waited for hours outside the operating room. And we stopped getting updates. Um, four hours went past, five hours went past, five and a half, almost six hours. Melanie says more than eight hours after what was supposed to be a three and a half hour surgery began, the doctor told the family what happened to Joan. And he said that they had gotten in there and one of the instruments they use to hold your heart down while they're doing the robotic procedure tore her heart. And she was bleeding a lot. Over the next few days, Joan struggled with breathing issues. I said, I'll be back tomorrow. And she said, okay. And she told me to be careful and she loved me. She loved me, and that's the last time I got to talk to her. That's the last time I saw her awake. The next morning, they decided to re, re her. Joan's medical records, shared by her family with NBC4, show her trachea was torn. She needed life-saving surgery to fix it. That's when doctors discovered something else had gone wrong. And found out that they had tore her femoral artery, too. Joan went back to the OR. You know, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, no change. No waking up, no moving. Joan's daughters made the decision to remove her from life support. And everything she went through that she should have had to go through at the hands of these doctors that have all pretty well acted like they've done nothing wrong. Melanie isn't the only person who blames the same surgeon for her mother's death. You go to the doctor to help. You trust them. And, you know... It's one of those things now where it's like, <laughs> do you trust a doctor? Linda Montgomery was rushed to Adina's ER last October after suffering an apparent diabetic seizure. Doctors discovered the 73-year-old also needed triple bypass surgery. Linda's medical records, also shared with us by her family, say the patient tolerated the surgery well. But daughters Penny and Kathy waited late into the night before they could see her. They never told us about the stroke. He didn't tell us about, you know, um, the, all the bleeding. Linda died in a nursing home the day after Thanksgiving, after an agonizing month. Nobody wants to watch a parent go through what we watched our parents go through. Like Joan's family, Linda's family said they could not afford an autopsy. But what they learned from her medical records was troubling. X-ray reports from the day after Linda's surgery reference a missing needle that may have been left in Linda's chest. I was in shock. I was like, okay, first of all, I can't believe they actually put this in here. And second of all, how does this happen? A spokesman for Adina Health said the hospital has no comment on any of the allegations. While Melanie was telling me about her mother, Joan, we learned that two of the doctors involved were no longer with Adina Health. She would always say, God provides. <laughs> Makes you wonder. Now, a memo that was shared with me that was also sent to Adina's staff late Thursday afternoon shows Adina's cardiac surgery program was suspended after an internal review. The memo says an outside firm is also assessing the program. An Adina spokesman told me the hospital is still offering cardiac interventional services, so if someone is having a cardiac event, they can still go to Adina's emergency room for treatment. He also told me the hospital has a partnership with OSU and is referring all heart surgeries there. Sierra.